Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in Nashville, I got home from Hawaii two, two days ago and I've just been doing some work, getting the house picked up, all that fun stuff. I also went to the dentist and I have my Invisalign trays in. I got them yesterday morning, so I've only had them for one day and I know that I'm gonna be talking funny and I probably should have thought this through more before I like got Invisalign. <laughs> Obviously what I do for a living is like talking to the camera and all that stuff like taking pictures all that stuff You can't tell from far away that I have them in but when I'm up close You definitely can see them and they're very new to me. So I have like a little bit of a lisp right now um, And I'm just being honest like I'm not gonna take them out every single time I like turn on the camera to vlog because Then I'm not gonna have them in for the right amount of time and then I'm gonna have to wear them for longer than is needed which is so not happening because they're so painful like my teeth are in so much pain right now if you guys have invisalign please comment tips for like soreness or how long this lasts because i'm like dying over here and I, it's not even that i have that crooked of teeth like i just had like a gap right here my two front teeth were starting to kind of like splice a little bit and then my two front bottom teeth were doing the same so i wanted to just make my smile perfect basically. Um, so the first step was Invisalign and then next I'm going to like, I used to grind my teeth a ton when I was little so I have like a chip. So I'm gonna get them all filed perfect and then I'm gonna get them whitened. So that's kind of my plan with my teeth. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, I don't know why you got Invisalign, your teeth were fine. But like, you know, when you just notice things about yourself that others might not, that's kind of how I felt with my teeth. So yeah, I have the trays in, no need to comment that I'm talking funny or that there's something in my mouth or anything like that. Like I have, Invisalign trays in for the next four to five months. So you guys will be on the journey with me I have 20 trays total and I wear each tray for one week. So it's about 20 weeks um, Hoping to get them off before the holidays But I don't think that's gonna happen. So I've only had them in for two days So I'm hoping this changes with the soreness level. They always say like the first three days Sorry, I feel like I'm talking so funny you guys. This is gonna be such a struggle. Oh my god My dentist told me the first three days of each new tray is when they're the most sore So i'm on day two So i'm hoping that like by tomorrow I can tell that they're not as sore because right now i'm like when I take them in and out It hurts so bad So it's making me like not even want to go eat or drink anything because every time you do you have to take them out But you're supposed to wear them for 22 hours a day. So you have to kind of be quick like i'm not gonna be able to just like fully enjoy my coffee for an hour and just like slowly sip on it so it's just like adjusting which i'm not complaining i'm thankful that i'm able to get invisalign because i know there's a lot of people that would love to have straight teeth and all that but you know it's just really painful right now so we're gonna get through it but um yeah today is gonna be a day in my life i have a lot to do just got back in town um dylan it's football season vanderbilt won their game which i was very excited about and so dylan's been mia since we got home i've been here kind of just getting stuff together for the house we have an exciting announcement coming next vlog so i'm very excited to share with you guys that and yeah today's a busy day at work i have a really exciting meeting in about an hour and a half for something like kind of work related which is really exciting um you guys it's so far down the road but in the slow process of getting things started and then today starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew came out so we're gonna go get one of those i'm gonna come back here take the meeting and then i got a email i ordered two lamps from crate and barrel that are finally in stock so i'm doing curbside pickup for that and then that's really it just kind of getting the house together i got a huge revolve fall haul in that i want to share with you guys some really good like fall jackets and pieces and things like that because we're slowly tiptoeing into fall which i'm really excited about so we're gonna get a coffee i have my hair up in braids i have this little shirt on from brandy melville it's just a little casual day but i'm gonna show you guys my teeth so you can see the trays are in and there's these little they call them like anchors that go on they like glue them onto your teeth and that's how the trays like get tighter it's honestly like the coolest craziest like technology that they can straighten your teeth like this without having to wear braces uh, crazy <laughs> i wanted to also show you guys i got a whole new set of towels from Brooklinen, and i feel like i always talk to you guys just about the sheets which we love you guys have heard me talk about them several several times but the towels are so freaking good i'm so excited i just got the super plush move in bundle perfect little starter set if you're moving into a new home if you are in college moving 
out onto your own little place or whatever the case may be. I feel like I didn't really understand the hype of like good quality towels until I started using Brooklinen. They're just like so plush, so good for drying. They like actually dry you off, which is huge, obviously, when it comes to a towel and then they obviously just like look very luxe and plush in your bathroom so i just got a whole new set here we already have um brooklyn and towels but i wanted to get another like full set because we kind of have them spread out throughout the house like in the guest room and then i like to always have extra whenever we have guests and things like that so this is the move-in bundle like i said and what i really love is how instead of purchasing the individual items you can bundle and save when you buy the actual like full set which i really really love so it comes with the bath towels hand towels washcloths and then a bath mat we have one bath mat already in the guest room and we need one here for our shower so i'm really excited to have two sets now um but i'm gonna set these up and fold them put them in our linen closet these are so high quality and so luxe you guys you have to try out their towels especially if you already have the sheets and you love them made from 100 percent turkish cotton and they're just like so luxe and fluffy you guys can see i got the white but you can mix and match um colors on the website i'll show you guys here if you're not a fan of white towels i know not a lot of people are they do offer other colors which is nice and you can mix and match and bundle and all that good stuff it gives you the luxury like feel and quality without the luxury price so what i love about brooklyn is they eliminate the middleman so you're getting like really good high quality products for an affordable price so the bedding the towels everything it's all really really good so check them out i do have a discount code for you guys it's rachel a and it gets you 20 dollars off when you spend 100 dollars or more but it down below in the description but again my code is rachel a gets you 20 dollars off when you spend 100 or more so check them out thank you brooklyn for sponsoring this video i love absolutely love working with you guys because i truly do use these products every day and it just makes me feel at home it just makes me feel um like i have my stuff together like i love i look forward to coming home when i'm traveling and sleeping in my bed and i love my linen sheets from brooklyn and then the towels and stuff dylan and i are just obsessed with them we've been using them for like a year year and a half now so again code is rachel a 20 dollars off 100 dollars or more i'll have it here on the screen and also linked below and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys I'm going to get all this stuff put away and sort it out. And I'm so excited to have some more towels in the house now. We are in line at Starbucks. It's just not cute, you guys, okay? Like, I know. But it's just something that we're going to have to deal with. I'm like, why? Good morning and thank you for choosing our... Do you guys have the pumpkin cream cold brew here? We do. I'll have that a grande with extra ice, please. Good thing about the pumpkin cream cold brew is that it is like a dollar and 70 cents cheaper than the white mocha drink I always would get. I don't know why that drink is so expensive. It's so dumb. First one of the season. Why is my camera so dark? Coffee is secured. I got a grande with extra ice. I'm gonna literally have to wait till I get home to drink this so I can take out my retainers. <laughs> self-control back home and i'm gonna have my first sip you guys know i'm obsessed with this last year it's actually funny i was sitting in my car and i got this drink today and i realized that i've had my car exactly one year today because i got this drink the day i bought my car last year i remember it was the first day it came out i think it was august 30th as well which is today's date so cute the house is a mess behind me so just ignore but It's so good, you guys. It's so freaking good. <laughs> I get in this line, I forget how to eat and drink. Did that seriously just happen to me? Look at my shirt. This is so freaking good. More than a week. Okay. Versus saying, okay, we're gonna just do hourly, and that's just what we do. it is much much later i just went to public so i thought i would do a little grocery haul i feel like i haven't done one of these for a while on my channel bunch of chips i just got like tortilla chips and stuff and then some doritos for dylan i got you guys this is the best stuff ever 
the Publix lemonade, the blackberry. It's so good. Got some milk. I get the whole milk. This is the best orange juice ever. The best popsicles ever, especially now with my teeth being really sore. I've been like loving a popsicle at night. So I got some of those. These are for Dylan because he's obsessed with candy. I got um, some creamer. This is my favorite, the sweet cream. And then I got half and half and heavy whip to make like at home cold foam. Got some taco seasoning, a cucumber, lemons, limes. I always love to keep these in the fridge to put in my waters. I feel like it makes me drink more water throughout the day. I got some onions, white and red, green onion, some meats and cheese for the week. So this I got for some like cold cut sandwiches, bacon, and then I got ground chicken for lettuce wrap, ground beef for tacos. Those are like the two things I always keep in the fridge. Um, and then we have HelloFresh coming tomorrow, I believe. So... I'll use those for the rest of the dinners. Um, I got some of these. These were just like calling my name in the aisle, so I had to get them. <laughs> I got some taco shells. These are really good, the stand and stuff ones. A ton of bananas. I'm gonna freeze some of them and then maybe make some banana bread. Got some tomatoes, watermelon, mushrooms, lettuce, cilantro. Just stuff that I always love to keep in the fridge. And then I got a ton of diced tomatoes to make salsa. Um, this weekend for Dylan's game, it's a home game. And we're doing like a tailgate, so I'm gonna make some salsa for that. Got water chestnuts and then some more poison sauce for the lettuce wraps and then just some water bottles so that is the little rundown i'm gonna go ahead and put everything up i just took everything out of the bag and then i'm gonna make something to eat i'm not sure what yet but i am so hungry also ran into bath and body works because it's right by my Publix, and i got two fall candles because i i just had to okay so i got the leaves one of my favorites and then i also got sweater weather which is another one of my favorites so i'm gonna light one of those and probably watch some tv but first i'm gonna make dinner Been a little bit since I have picked up the camera and I'm heading out to the mall. I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel to pick up my lamps that said they were ready for in-store pickup. So I'm wearing, I wanted to show you guys these jeans. I just got them in from Revolve. They're such good jeans. I feel like I struggle with finding jeans. I always do Shop Alley Grace denim because she'll like customize them to your body. But these jeans, let me show you like, let me show you a full length. So cute, like minimal tears, which I like. I feel like sometimes they can be a little bit too holy. And then I just really love like the wash and fit of the butt. I'm like really picky with jeans, so I'm really excited about these. The bottom comes with the raw hem, so you can cut them. I have them just kind of folded, but there's still a lot of material at the bottom. So if you wanted to do like with heels, with flat sneakers, whatever, I might cut mine a little bit since it is a raw hem. And then I'm just gonna carry this little bag. I have on some. Birkenstock slides and then this little crop is just from Aritzia. So been on the phone all morning dealing with taxes work All the not fun stuff. My teeth are killing me. I know I keep like bringing up my teeth But I'm having like a hard time even talking Dylan has not been Home like since I've gotten them. So I've really just been by myself So then when I turn on the camera to like talk I realize how different I actually sound so Bear with me, you guys, while I have these in. I know it's like probably annoying to listen to me speak, but I'm like trying my hardest while also trying to keep them in for the like acquired time that they're supposed to be in every day. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Crane Barrel. I think I'm gonna stop by Nordstrom. I wanna look at their fall shoes. I know a lot of fall stuff is coming out, so I really wanna look at Nordstrom. And then I might go get a Starbucks coffee um, because my pumpkin cream cold brew yesterday was so good that I'm like craving another one. And I had coffee this morning, but it just like wasn't it. That cold brew wasn't my favorite that I made this morning. So off to the mall we go. I was walking out the door and I got this package from Georgiana. So I wanted to quickly open it before I left. 
and I picked out some stuff a while back. One of their PR people emailed me and I am so excited because I used to wear their jewelry a ton in college. Oh, I'm so excited about these. I lost my skinny pair of hoops. So I got these right here. I love their coloring of their gold. These little huggies for my second hole, which I'm really excited about. Oh my God, I love this. This is like a really pretty dainty gold bracelet. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh wait, there's one more. This is the thick one. So I figured I would stack these. How pretty is that gonna be on the wrist? So really pretty stuff. Thank you, Georgiana, if you guys are watching. I'm obsessed with a lot of their jewelry. So check out their website, I'll put it below. Waiting in the curbside pickup for Crate and Barrel. I think that they're bringing my order out. I clicked that I've arrived, but I don't know. I've been sitting here for a second. I feel like I'm so fall mode, and then I walk outside, and it's 92 degrees outside. So I'm like, I have my jeans on. I was going to wear fuzzy slides or even, like, wear Birkenstocks, and that now I'm like, it is so hot. I'm glad I just wore regular slides. This is the time of year that I loved in Colorado. Like, when we lived in Colorado, it was beautiful weather, like, starting September through thanksgiving it was beautiful weather honestly even through like december it was so pretty i feel like in colorado it's a different type of cold than it is here i feel like here it's like bitter like your bones are freezing and in colorado it's just like oh i'm cold let me put on a jacket if that makes any sense if you guys live in colorado and you've lived in the south before comment if you agree with that because i know a lot of people that live in Calif california that live in colorado that say it doesn't like the cold doesn't affect them as much i feel like in the south when it gets cold we're all like such babies we're like winter coats we're bundling up and stuff and it's like I don't know, it's a different type of cold here. Anyways, I'm gonna get my lamps. I've been waiting on these lamps for like three months and I'm hoping that I still like them because I got them in like the beginning of summer and now I'm kind of like, are they gonna be too summery for year round or what? So I guess we'll see. It's like a wicker lamp shade and then a base of it is white, I believe, if I'm like remembering correctly. I mean, I know our house is like coastal but I definitely don't want it to be like too summery. So I guess we'll see when we get home. Okay, we only have one lamp, you guys. I knew it was too good to be true. I feel like it came faster than it was supposed to. Dang it. She's gonna message me. Let, I'm gonna see if I even placed an order or two. Now I'm like, was that on me? Or did I just order one? Guys, things cannot go smoothly for me, I swear. Quantity two. Okay. I don't know if she wanted me to wait. <laughs> wheel you guys can see my face just ran into the starbucks that's attached to the mall i feel like this is going to be a problem for me this fall getting this drink every day i need to figure out how to make the pumpkin cold foam on my own at home because it's just so good and i just see this being an issue this fall with my bank account <laughs> but it's so good i also popped into aritzia since i'm out this way and i got some more ankle socks sometimes i like to just like restart over with my with my like sock and underwear drawer you know like sometimes like socks can just get to be old and gross and whatever. And I love the TNA socks. So I get the size medium large, seven and a half to 10 foot. And these are the base ankle socks. I wear these for working out with like biker shorts or shorts or anything like that. And they're like a little bit lower. And then the base crew sock is my favorite. I love this like oatmeal color. And this one's a little bit longer and they just look really cute with like loafer. This guy is totally staring at me. They just look really cute with like loafers, tennis shoes, like anything really. I love ankle socks with like um, sneakers and midi skirts, like silk midi skirts right now. And then also they're really good to wear under boots so you don't get like blisters in your ankles don't rub. So I'm gonna head home. I have a call at Okay, so it's at 4.30 LA time, so 6.30 my time, and it's around 4.30 right now. So I'm gonna go unbox my lamp, I'll show you guys that, and then take my call, and then we'll make dinner. So that's really it for the day. Also forgot to say, Aritzia Worker, I'm forgetting your name now, I wanna say it's Grace, um, which 
standing at the register and I was checking out and you said hi that you follow me on Instagram whatever and that you're getting married soon and then I was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry I like can't talk right now I just got Invisalign and she was like oh my god I just got Invisalign too last week and so we were talking about it and then another sales associate said that her dad had had it and that it, it went well for them and they're like if she was like if my dad can do it anyone can do it so I'm like fingers crossed that it gets is this car about to literally back into me yes they are I'm like fingers crossed that it, the pain gets better, so. Every day across the street, this is what I see in here. I love it. I had to just run to Ace Hardware and I got a Starbucks again, you guys, it's so bad. I needed to get a new one of these because last night our AC actually isn't working upstairs. It like went out last night and Dolan and I think it's because we need a new air filter. We just changed the bottom one but for some reason this house gets so dusty and it's weird because it's a brand new home so I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm gonna replace both air filters. The construction noise is just not it, you guys. Okay, this is our downstairs one, which I looked at last night and it is so dirty. This is what you have to look forward to if you guys are still in college and once you start living on your own, there's like really fun activities like this that you get to do as an adult. And it's just so fun, you guys. So don't grow up. <laughs> Dylan is always in charge of this, but football season has taken my husband from me, so we are doing it on our own. Which way does this go? And it goes this way. This fit in here. This fit. This was the size. <laughs> said perfect fit. <sighs> okay, I think that that's in there. I mean, good luck getting it out. Oh, I think it's upside down. Why is this not there? Okay, one down. Now we have to go upstairs. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to reach this. I don't think this line is even big enough. This is probably dangerous. Okay, yeah, I can't do this by myself. <laughs> I can't reach the... I'm gonna have to shove it in there and then how am I gonna get it closed? Yeah, no. That's just gonna have to be a waiting till midnight when Dylan gets back, but. Two little things I wanna do. This morning I took time and hung up all of the new like fall arrivals that I have in from Revolve. There's so many good pieces. So I'm gonna do a little try on for you guys in a second, but I really wanna go get the bedside lamp out of my car and put that together. But I have so many good pieces. I am so excited to show you guys. So they only have one lamp in, but she said the other should be coming next week. So I'm gonna see if I even like what they look like before I wait for the other one. Oh my God, this is so heavy. <laughs> I'm like upstairs doing this and I'm literally sweating. It's literally 77 degrees in the house right now. It is so hot. Okay, let's see if I'm strong enough to... Oh wait, this might be way too big. <sighs> this might literally be way too big for my sunny table. Wait, and where's the lampshade? There's no lampshade. Okay. Um, okay, this is like so pretty, but like where? This is my problem. I, I always order furniture that's like seven times too big for my house. Like, I always love big furniture. Like, I need a huge house because I'm just drawn to huge pieces of furniture. I don't know what I was thinking about that lamp. Holy shit. And, like, where's the lampshade? Did I have to order that separate? Was this thing alone $300 for God's sake? 
Okay, wait, I'm gonna go put it on the side table and see what it looks like. This room's a mess, so it's hard to tell anything, but ignore this mess because I'm washing the sheets, like I said, but this is the, and we have this fan on because it's so hot up here. Anyways, this lamp is a big mama. And I really like it, and we honestly don't really put anything on our nightstands anyways. And we have such a big bed that I feel like it doesn't look bad. But it's hard to picture, like, without a lampshade, without the bed made. But the, like, base of the lamp alone is beautiful. I feel like it matches the bed really well. Honestly, I got, like, seagrass lampshades, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I do, like, a stark white to match the bed. Because our linen's on our bed. It's the Brooklinen um, off-white set. So I don't know what to do. All I do know is that this is way bigger in person than I thought it was. So to be decided on this. I don't know what it is, but I swear I've been having the hardest time trying to find lamps. Like I literally struggle. This is like my fourth set of lamps that I've tried to buy for the nightstands. And I can't find any like good size good color good shape like good price like lamps are hard to find so i really love what this one looks like but i'm just thinking is it a little bit too big dylan's gonna be like where's the where's my room for the remote and my water and my blue light glasses <laughs> gonna try on all of these pieces for you guys i just got in from revolve they have so many good fall pieces hitting their website right now so I wanted to show you guys some of mine and like how I'm going to be dressing for fall, styling for fall, all that good stuff. So really into jeans right now, which is strange for me because I've been really into like obviously loose baggy pants. But I feel like when you find the right pair of jeans, they can be so cute with literally anything. So I'm obsessed with these. They're the jeans I was showing you guys yesterday. I just wanted to try them on one more time. The bottom is a raw hem so you can cut to the length, which is nice. So if you're a taller girl, these jeans are ideal for you. They're on the pricier side, but I feel like when it comes to jeans, actually, honestly, there's way more pricey out there. So I feel like this is a really good find. I'm wearing a size 27. I sized up for like an oversized fit and I just love like the wash and how it looks on the butt. And they're just so comfy, so cute. And then this top, such a good basic to have. I love like the fit. I love where it hits. It like shows a little bit of stomach, but it's not like your whole entire stomach's out. It is the softest, like stretchiest, nice, lightweight material ever. I'm obsessed with this. I'm wearing it a size small. I'll link everything that I show you guys below, but get your hands on this. I feel like basics are great to have for fall because then you can layer over a jacket. You could put a turtleneck under this. Like you can really do a lot with layering when it comes to the colder events, which is like why I love fall and winter fashion. So really, really cute. Next up, I have this little cardigan cropped sweater situation and i am obsessed with this it's from the brand song of style i really love their stuff and i'm wearing a size medium i feel like it's just like a really cute cut and fit and something that i don't really have in my closet so i would wear this with jeans and then maybe like a brown tan belt to tie in like the buttons um and i just think it's so cute it's easy for fall like getting into fall because it's not a super thick sweater still shows some skin so you're not going to be too hot so if you live in the south like I do, it's like impossible to dress for fall until like November basically. So this is like a good piece to have that won't make you super hot. But I don't know, I just love the details on this. I think it's so cute and the fit is really, really nice and so is the quality too. Next is this really cute sweater. I actually got this for like colder game days. This is like the perfect gold yellowish color for Vanderbilt. So. I thought this would be cute to wear to a game. Again, with jeans, you could do black cargo pants, you could do black like trouser pants, really, really cute. And I am always looking for sweaters that are not going to be itchy. So whenever I find one, I love to share them with you guys. And this is like the softest, coziest material. I also really love how it's a high chunky neck. I would throw like a really oversized trench coat or blazer with this. And I think it's just such like a good layering piece to have. And I love I know it's cold, but I, well, it's not cold yet, but it will be cold. I know that a lot of people don't really like show their stomach when it's cold, obviously, but I love it because I feel like it gives your body some shape if you like show a little stomach and then throw a long jacket over. So when you go outside, you can like bundle up, but I feel like showing a little crop, like for when you're inside and stuff is like always cute for fall. We have one more little sweater that is almost the same as the last one. This one is a lot thinner, really soft, stretchy, cozy. And it's by the brand Camila Coella. I think that's how you say it. And I love the sleeves. I love like a balloon sleeve on sweaters. I feel like that's easier to wear with coats over it instead of like a bell sleeve because it doesn't have to be all like 
tucked up in the jacket, but this one's really thin and lightweight for a sweater. I have a gray trench coat by her as well that I'm gonna throw over this and I'll show you guys. Here is the trench coat, which I love. You can, again, this is like an example of like stomach showing. So you can have like a crop little sweater. If you get hot, you take off the trench and then out and about outside, you can take this and wrap it up and then you're all like bundled and cozy. So I feel like a lot of people think crop sweaters are not practical, but I like truly love them. I also love like when the sleeve is coming out a little bit. I think it adds like some layering to the outfit and I would probably, I need to steam this, but wear it with jeans and then I would do some like loafers, which I'm obsessed with this jacket. It's such a good gray color. It kind of almost looks a little bit purple on camera, but it's a really pretty like gray tan color in person. Got another pair of jeans, which I really, really love these. I like how they're a little different from what I have. So there's like little cutouts in the side of the leg but facing the front, it doesn't really look like you have really holy jeans. Just like pops out on the side, which I think is cute. I'm wearing these in a size 28. They're by the brand still here. So these do run a little bit smaller. Again, I wear them oversized because I feel like when I'm tight in jeans, I don't wear them. Like if I feel like I can't sit down and breathe or eat in jeans, I will not wear them. So I just go with the oversized look always. And these are really cute, good wash. I feel like I don't have anything like this pair. This jacket is so good. I feel like for fall, my downfall is like just buying so many jackets and then I can't fit them all in my closet because I am obsessed with fuzzy coats. This one I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got this a while ago and it just came in, but there's actually another one out on their website now that's by the brand Free People that looks a little bit cozier. So I'm going to link both. This one is really, really cozy, but I think the Free People one might be a little bit softer. This one is a little bit more rough, but I do love the different like two-tone texture. I don't have a button because our AC is out and I decided to do a fall try-on haul upstairs, <laughs> but really, really cute. I'm wearing a size large in this. Next, we have an oversized flannel, which I feel like you cannot go wrong with these. I feel like everyone needs to have one of these in their closet. This is more on like the shacket side, so it is a little bit thicker, which I like when it gets to be colder out. I would do like a white turtleneck underneath, a graphic tee, leave it open, leave it buttoned, whatever. I have these jeans on. It would just be cute with some white sneakers, honestly. Um, I'm wearing this in a size large. I remember Revolve had this last year and I really loved it, but it was always sold out. And so it came back in stock on their website for this season. And I think it's so cute. So love the colors. If we were still at Colorado State, this would be like perfect for game days, but love next is this cozy jacket i'm telling you guys i'm obsessed with fuzzy coats this i got in a size large i almost did an xl and i'm glad i didn't i would honestly size down in this i wish i would have gotten a medium but it's by the brand lpa i love this color green i love fuzzy for the fall and winter and i know i will just throw this on over like leggings to go to a workout run to the grocery store to be comfy like it's such a good jacket to have in your closet and then the bottom is like windbreaker there's a pocket so if you go on walks it's just so freaking good next is this really cute skirt from amanda up richard i believe that's what this brand is i originally got it in a small and then i sent it back and got a medium because the small it fit me it looked like more like this but i felt like my butt was hanging out what i really like is that it looks like a mini skirt but it's actually these need to be tucked in. What I love is that it looks like a mini skirt, but it's actually a skirt, so you feel like comfortable in it. I am like not a huge fan of mini skirts because I'm on the taller side, so it's hard for me to find mini skirts that work, but this one is so good. I'm excited to, I think I'm gonna bring this to Fashion Week with me and wear it with like knee high boots and a cute like layering situation at the top, or maybe even like some loafers with the sweater. I love this. And they have a bunch of other colors too. I feel like this is like a need and a staple for your closet for fall, especially if you are like a college girl. I feel like this is such a cute little skirt to go out in, go to the bars, like really cute. Next up, this might be my favorite item from this haul. It's this huge, not huge, really puffy bomber jacket from, I don't know how to say this brand, you guys. I always say Annie Bing, but I know that's not right. Um, but it is so good. I love how there's no hardware color on it so you can wear black or silver i also need to clean my mirror why do why is my house so dusty i think it has to do with my <laughs> air filter situation but such a good jacket it's so cozy so warm it keeps you so warm i'm literally have had it on for like a minute and i'm I feel like i'm dripping sweat so this would be great for like outside football games when it gets cold it's just like really cute and i feel like it's a good staple it is pricey but i feel like for a leather jacket 
you get what you pay for when it comes to like quality over quantity, you know? Last up, we have this super fun feathered dress, which I am literally obsessed with. I need to put some type of like shape where you can see like my underwear line, but I am obsessed with this. I feel like it like sucks you in and it's really cute on. I love the little off the shoulder. I'm not wearing a bra and it like fits pretty comfy. I love the feathers on the sleeve. So really cute knee high like brown boots and a brown bag would be so good for fall. This is definitely going to come with me to New York because I know it's still going to be like pretty hot in New York. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to dress for fashion week. Um, I'm only going for a few days because I'm going to come home early to be back at Dylan's game. But I still am trying to like get my outfits and I'm a little stressed about it <laughs> that is the fall haul for you guys again i'll link everything below i also update my revolve favorites every morning um i like scroll and see what new arrivals they have so i kind of do the sifting through for you guys i always favorite a ton of stuff that i already have and that i love or things that i like want to get in style and stuff so a lot of this stuff i will put onto my favorites but I'll also link them directly for you guys if you saw anything that you were interested in also let me know any other store hauls you guys want to see i know some of you guys are like no more revolve but then again some of you like it so let me know other stores that you want to see like maybe i could do like a fall styling video um i have a big princess polly fall order coming up that i'm really excited to share with you guys but other than that let me know some stores you guys want to see hello you guys i wanted to quickly end off the vlog i feel like i fell off yesterday dylan got to come home around five o'clock which is literally unheard of um so <laughs> We had dinner together and he hung a picture frame for me in the stairwell. We got in a huge fight about it because he measured it wrong and put all these holes in the wall. And then we realized that it like was not the right spot at all. I can show you guys, but so now we have like extra holes that I need to patch in the wall. But anyways, the frame looks nice and hung up. I just got a coffee from Starbucks or <laughs> we're three for three you guys it's so bad i'm not i'm not gonna keep this up this is just like me being excited about the drink being back but like i can't keep this up it's so bad yeah i have a lot of work to do today i'm gonna edit a video and then i'm gonna do some like back end stuff for some exciting things and then i think that's really it for the day i am gonna end this vlog here and go ahead and start up another vlog because the next vlog that you guys will see coming up is so exciting i'm really excited for you guys to see it and i'm just excited to share the news so that will be coming up next so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already what else do we have going on i feel like i need to catch you guys up oh so today's friday so dylan has a home game so dylan's parents are coming tomorrow morning really early and then they're gonna um hang out we're gonna tailgate for the game and then sunday they'll leave and then i'm gonna prep for new york fashion week so a lot of fun vlogs to come um so make sure you're subscribed and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't even know what is in this video i feel like it was over a few days so like maybe like a brief little week in my life i just filmed things here and there so i want to show you guys the frame really quick before i end off the vlog i'm obsessed with that i feel like we needed something in this hallway because as you guys can see everything is very white so obsessed i think i showed this in the last vlog this frame and then i'm gonna get a little bench to put underneath that's the color of the wooden frame but as you guys can see we have some <laughs> dylan would be so mad that i'm calling him out on this but like it was so funny but look at how pretty this picture is called night swimmers and i just love it so much i love like the vibe and the feel of it i feel like it's very us so love this and yeah our ac actually hasn't been working the past two nights upstairs but we went and changed the air filter which we had literally just changed it so i'm not sure what the deal was but i changed it and then like i showed you guys last night dylan changed it and our ac is like back up and running but the hvac guy i think that's what it's called is coming um our landlord called him and he's coming our landlord is like the best you guys i feel like whenever things go wrong she is like on it and things come so quick so um he's coming just to double check in case like something happens again she's like i'd hate for it to go out again so um, they're coming, but so I'm going to sit around and wait on them for that. That's what's up. I'm going to chill today to get some work done before the weekend hits. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a weekend exciting vlog coming next. So subscribe and I love you all. See you in the next video. Bye guys.